How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play You Really Got Me by The Kinks on guitar. In this video I'm going to break down the rhythm guitar part that uses what we call a riff that slides around some power chords. I'm going to break down the rhythm guitar part for the entire song, show you everything you need to know to get playing it today. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure to hit subscribe. If you're new here, I post brand new lessons every single day on the channel. Also, there's a lot of great resources for you to check out if you want to learn more about guitar in the description below. All right, with that said, let's dive into today's lesson. Let's break down how to play You Really Got Me by The Kinks. Now we're gonna use power chords, except for a few filled out chords at the very end. We're gonna start off with this intro figure that goes four times. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So I'm gonna play a power chord shape here, and I'm gonna put my first finger on the first fret of the low E, and then I like to use my pinky for power chords, so I use my pinky on the third fret of the A string. And I'm just playing those two notes there, and then I'm gonna move up to the third fret and go back and forth like this. Starts on the and of four, it's three and four, and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three. So it's just a little one bar figure there. Now with my strum hand, I'm doing all downs, three and four, and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three. Now that happens four times, and then we come in with the verse, and the singer comes in. And then we're gonna do that same rhythm pattern eight times for the singer. So here's what it sounds like when the singer comes in. One, two, three, four. Halfway. Then we do the same idea, but we're gonna move it up two frets. And this is what's so great about a power chord is you can keep the shape exactly the same and then just bring it up two frets. So now we're gonna go G to A, and this would be based off of our A chord here. We're gonna play this four times. So that's the same concept. Three, five, five, three, five. If I'm counting where my first finger is. And then we have another riff where we again do the same idea. This time we're gonna come down one string as what we just did and we're gonna play. So what I did there was play the same riff as what I was doing for the A, but now it's gonna be based off of a D. It's gonna be C5 moving up to D5. Now we do this part six times. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then after the sixth time, we go. And we play a C chord. Now here I'm gonna to start to fill out the shape a little bit. So instead of just the power chord, which again, you could just do the power chord and go. But I think it sounds a little fuller here to go. And hit a full major chord. So that's gonna be three, five, five, five. Starting with that same root note, third fret of the A string. So the last time goes. And 
if I count the rhythms, it'd be three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Then we let this C ring out for two bars. So four and one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then we go back and do everything all over again. So just to review, it's four times of the intro, eight times of the verse, all on G. Then we go up to A four times, then we do D six times, and then we hold that C chord. So I'm gonna play all of that from the top. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four, intro. Verse one. One more. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's basically all the sections of the tune. Now, the only other thing to keep in mind is when we do the guitar solo, it's just all over G. And that section happens to go 10 times on just this G riff here. Now if you are interested in me doing a video doing a full breakdown of the solo as well, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Now the only other part I want to add in is the very last time we're going to end with four hits on the D chord. So we're going to be on this D riff here going, you really got me, you really got me. It's going to sound like this. Three and four. <laughs> Then after the last time, we go. And here I like to play a D chord, just like we did with the C chord. I go to the full major chord, so that's gonna be five, seven, seven, seven. It's gonna be just four hits. One, two, three, four. And you make them all short, except for the last one. Have fun working on You Really Got Me by The Kinks. I hope this video helps you put that rhythm guitar part together. And if you're interested in learning more about soloing, like this crazy freak out solo that's played on the original recording, check out the link in the description below and you can get my book all about soloing completely for free as my gift to you for checking out this video. If you wanna support me, you can buy the book on the iTunes bookstore for $15 or you can get it for free at the link below. It's just www.johnmcclellan.com lennon.com slash free book. Thank you again for watching and for subscribing and hitting the bell. I really appreciate your support here on the channel. As always, leave comments below and let me know what songs you'd like to see in upcoming video lessons. I'm always checking the comments for more video ideas. Have fun practicing and we'll see you in the next lesson.